Welcome back, everybody. Fiesta Friday continues, and the holiday spirit continues because our friends at the Sugar Plum Tree continue their mission to give a wonderful holiday gift to a child, a member of our elderly community, or just somebody out there in need and bring the joy of Christmas to a fellow Guamanian. Bobby Leungaro is here with me now, and we are going to talk about this wonderful organization. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Happy Thanks for having me. Well, of course. Happy holidays to you and your family. Same to you. Okay, now, I must admit, um, in my ignorance, I've known about Sugar Plum Tree and I've admired the work that you guys have done. I've gotten involved mm -hmm. on several occasions. I had no idea that Sugar Plum Tree also benefits the islands Manumco, our elderly. Yes. I did not know that. I always thought it was, for, it was a organization primarily for kids. Well, originally that's how it started out, but um, as the years went by, we eventually added uh, the disabled adults in Manumco. Mm -hmm. So the mechanics of how the program are generally the same, right? Like you, you get these like like little wish cards or you that's get like... That's correct. Yeah, what, yes. what's, what someone would like for Christmas. What, what do our island's elderly tend to tend to wish for? Okay, basically what they normally wish for um, are toiletries, mm -hmm. uh, fans, uh, comforters and bed sheets, um, that type of thing. Because most Guamanian Manomko, they're very, 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 very humble, and of course, you know, they want the children to experience, you know, the joy of Christmas and the blessings and everything like that. So, right. like most Manomko that I know and that I interact with, you know, they would want very little for themselves, but right. uh, simple and practical things. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, do they have to be brand new, like items and everything? Yes. Preferably. We, a we ask that okay. the gifts be new. Okay. And is there a monetary limit like if if I get involved and you know I pick one up and said oh okay well somebody wants you know like a a fan or a right. like an item well you know we have an unspoken limit with the agencies of fifty dollars but yeah. whenever anyone picks a name on the tree they can spend however much they would like or mm -hmm. can't afford mm -hmm. well I know we asked this, um, several times before but um, typically the connection between the person giving the gift and the person receiving the gift they don't they don't always meet that. How many times have you in your association with the organization have people actually said like, oh, I was the one who, you know, gave you that gift. Did it, you know, or did you have a Merry Christmas or people like actually wind up meeting? Oh, no, actually it's totally anonymous. Okay. Yes. Very cool. So, um, although we do uh, have the sponsors indicate their names on uh, the wish list and we do keep track of that uh, on the database, there's actually no connection of the names uh, from the sponsors uh, with the, um, the the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, in the true holiday spirit, it's not about, you know, getting recognition or being, you know, associated with that thing. It's just, you know, helping out your fellow human being. Right. And, and you know, we need to remember that the names that we get are from the uh, different uh, social service agencies. So basically, they're the clients and we keep their names strictly anonymous. Mm -hmm. So on the cards, you'll only see first names. Okay, um, and it probably is recommended because these are for specific items that people are you know, asking for on their wish list if they come and check with you first and then they can pick the name first and then go out and get something. That's correct. Okay, um, are you in need of any any volunteer help or any um, you know sweat equity as we call it and everything because that it is a labor of love and it's a very noble cause but it's mm -hmm. also a lot of work yes it is a lot of work if you can imagine you know nine over nine hundred names um, that we're uh, expecting to receive this year uh, really and uh, the bulk of it, it usually comes at the end of the program so um, you know we it would be great if we do have people out there that are um, willing to volunteer to receive gifts, um, they can give me a call and uh, I can certainly arrange something. Mm -hmm. And there are other types of, you know, labor, I guess, in the gift giving process, like I would assume wrapping or if gifts need any sort of assembly or anything like that. Could you use people with, well, with those skills? Okay. Well, this year, um, I, for, for uh, kids that had requested bikes, for example, um, normally we would just take the bikes in. We have some people that would assemble them for me, but because we're uh, limited this year um, with the people that, um, or with the resources, mm -hmm. uh, I've actually asked that the bikes come already assembled. Pre-assembled, okay. Yes. Very yes. smart. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, 
no issues with that. Okay, excellent. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, you know, this year, um, or should I say, uh, previous years, by the end of November, we would normally receive more than 50% of the gifts. However, this year, we've only received, as of today, 20%. Uh oh, so we're, we're a little bit behind. We are kind of behind. So we got some work to do, Guam. Yeah, so I really want to encourage people. Um, I know the 7th is the deadline, okay, but certainly they can still bring in the gifts. The banks open on Saturday, so they have until the bank closes on Saturday to bring the gifts in. They don't really have to wait until the 7th, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and so uh, we don't want to be overwhelmed with everything just coming in all on, on the 7th. Exactly. Yeah. And that's when we're able to do our inventory, make a list of uh, those gifts that were not donated, and then we would go out and purchase the gifts. Okay. And there is the most appropriate question, and, and that will be the final question, is uh, how can people come down and actually take a name off the sugar plum tree to find out what well, they can buy? you know what? we've actually had all the cards taken. Okay. So at this point, you know, we're just encouraging people to remember that the gifts are due. Please bring them in to us. And picking a gift basically has obligated you at this point, so. Right. Okay, well thank you so much, Bobby, and let us know You're how welcome. we can help. Thank you so much. All right, and happy holidays. All right, same to you. Thank you. All right.